Let's go through an example of using order of operations with fractions. This time we'll include one that contains brackets. We have 7 halves plus 5 fourths in brackets divided by 13 halves divided by 1 quarter. B for brackets is at the top of bed mass. This means we do the operation within the brackets first. It is 7 over 2 plus 5 over 4. In order to add fractions, they need to have a common denominator. We can change 7 over 2 to 14 over 4. 14 over 4 plus 5 over 4 gives us 19 over 4. So now our question is 19 over 4 divided by 13 over 2 divided by a quarter. We finished the operation within the brackets, so we move down to exponents. There are no exponents in this question, so we move down to division and multiplication. The first operation here is 19 over 4 divided by 13 over 2. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So this becomes 19 over 4 times 2 over 13. The diagonals 2 and 4 can each be divided by 2 to give us 1 and 2. So our question now is 19 over 2 times 1 over 13 divided by a quarter. We can do the multiplication first. 19 times 1 is 19, and 2 times 13 is 26. So the product of these two fractions is 19 over 26. 19 over 26 divided by 1 quarter is a division. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So this is the same as 19 over 26 times 4 over 1. The diagonals 4 and 26 can both be divided by 2 to give us 2 and 13. So we're left with the multiplication 19 thirteenths times 2 over 1. 19 times 2 is 38 and 13 times 1 is 13. So the product of these is 38 over 13. 38 over 13 is an improper fraction, so it can be converted into a mixed number. 13 goes into 38 two times. 13 times 2 is 26, so the remainder is 38 minus 26, which is equal to 12 thirteenths. So the final answer to our question is 2 and 12 thirteenths. Here's the whole problem. If you like, you can pause the video and review all the steps. Mm -hmm.